Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 10th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Start note here, always looking at our sun for the past two days of imagery. As we do have those large black lines, which are plasma filaments, we're keeping an eye on those to destabilize or fall back in. We also have active sunspot regions producing strong solar flares. Another M-class solar flare reported today, strong one. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, active sunspot region on the right. Not the greatest quality of imagery here, but again, I appreciate all of the work done to produce these for us. Brought to you by Gong and NSO. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. Having a look at 304 angstroms here, still some plasma prominence or filaments stretching from the southern hemisphere and as well all, equi all equatorial regions. Another light here you can see in the outgoing sunspot region right hand side is where we saw the most recent M class solar flares. And then another light here, 171 angstroms is where we can see coronal holes. We do have that one now that is earth facing, the other one turning away. And currently we have six sunspot regions, 3920 and as well 3912, the most active of the last 48 hours. Now something I wanted to share here with you is the magnetic field lines of our sun I don't normally share this, as I did not know that it was available. But this is a look at the magnetic field of our sun, going through solar cycle 25, solar maximum, lasting upwards of 11 years. Now let's have a look at space weather conditions. Currently, we are under R2, moderate radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 393 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, three M-class solar flares today, one of them being very strong, yesterday X-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is low, and geomagnetic activity is low as well, with a KP of 2. Not expecting any major solar events just yet. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing their space weather spiral. Noticing the dates at the top, cosmic energies coming from our sun, which is the yellow circle. Next cosmic event is expected, 13th into the 14th. Having a look here, ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing their most recent CME being observed. Was slightly Earth-facing, set to give us a glancing blow, 16th. So, from the 13th to the 16th, expect geomagnetic instability from these most recent events. Now let's have a look at LASCO 3 broad spectrum, wide spectrum. Amazing images here of our sun. And most recent coronal mass ejections taken off from the South Pole and the North. We'll slow that down. The last few images here from the South and then one starting from the North there. Stay tuned for more details as the images come in. Now let's have a look at tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow. A little bit easier tonight to see them than tomorrow. But mostly cloudy across Canada. Let's have a look at earthquakes. 5.8 earthquake yesterday, Urington, Nevada. That's now the largest the last 24 hours. Notable earthquake here, Captain Cook, Hawaii, 3.7 magnitude. As well, another 5.8, Adak, Alaska. So Alaska's still hopping, California's hopping, Nevada's hopping. And the West Pacific Plate, the Ring of Fire, is very quiet. Notable earthquake there, Guam. As well, earthquakes, Indonesia, northward to Philippines. No deep earthquakes, Tonga region, very quiet, eerily quiet for that region. So heads up, 5.3 magnitude earthquake here reported Southwest Indian Ridge. 
as well a 4.7 there in Afghanistan. German Afghanistan, 87 kilometer depth. Quiet across the African plate and up into Europe. South American plate, notable earthquakes, Chile and northward to La Capilla, Peru. 4.8 magnitude earthquake, 136 kilometer depth. And then some notable earthquakes here, Caribbean plate, all deep earthquakes and very few of them. Normally that's a pretty busy region, so... Heads up, Central America, you are on an earthquake watch as this watch and warning week will continue. Right now, USGS is reporting 384 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. 300 of them have been here across the California state and into Nevada. Nevada, with the 5.8 yesterday, now have seen 153 earthquakes since that 5.8. just east of Lake Tahoe. Quieter today across Yellowstone. Notable earthquakes here moving northward, Petrolia, California into Ferndale. And as well, the springs are still going. Other than that, not too much to report. 384 earthquakes, still double the average amount. No notable earthquakes cross the United States, except for that notable 5.8 earthquake yesterday, which was reported here with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for all the new follows. Much love, and I appreciate all of the support to the information shared here and produced. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers. I'll take a quick moment to thank you. Let's grow. Hit the like comment and subscribe share with your friends and family as we go through these changes together hashtag no fear here just aware and prepared this is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes going through and finishing through mercury retrograde which we are expecting all of this seismicity to increase and sure enough it did tenfold Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast as we've got quite a bit of SO2 pumping out of Kilauea at Hawaii and as well Kamchatka, eastern Russia. Popocatito through Mexico, not as busy as it has been over the last couple months. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa and Australia. Big plume coming out of the Philippines as the tall volcano a couple days ago did have a very large eruption and produced a very large pyroclastic cloud so ash sulfur dioxide dioxide and debris is swirling in our atmosphere right now heading towards thailand and as well up into china and scooting across the north pacific big plume coming out of central africa as well three active volcanoes in that region now let's have a look at world weather here as we've still got that blizzard-like conditions expected for eastern, Ontario, or eastern Canada and northeastern United States. Big system there moving up in to Quebec. And then watch on the west coast as multiple low-pressure systems come into the coastline, eventually forming a pretty big Alberta clipper for the long range, but heading northward. A lot of these systems are taking very strange tracks. Cold temperatures are going to be sticking around here. Will it be a white Christmas for you? Well, we'll see. I guess we'll have to see what the polar vortex brings for us in the future here. Looking at forecast models here, looks like Ontario could see some mild conditions right around Christmas time. Now let's have a look at world weather here overlooking Europe, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Multiple lows eventually being squeezed out by high pressure ridge through Central Europe, but then Northern Europe and Western parts watch for multiple low pressure systems to come in. Atmospheric river of moisture forecasted here a couple days ago and still pretty strong system there grinding through the Mediterranean and Blizzard-like conditions expected for north and eastern parts of Europe. Temperatures. It's going to be pretty mild, actually, across Europe right around Christmas time. So 
who knows about your white Christmas. Overlooking Australia, in the Pacific Ocean, multiple low-pressure systems scooting through the North Pacific this week. Dry across Australia, except for northern parts. Pretty strong system heading up into Philippines for the long range. Other than that, no cyclones, typhoons, or hurricanes expected. Again, thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared.